Hey guys, Wise Gamer back with another indie gameplay of Stardew Valley. So we're gonna do our second day now on Gamer Farm. Now I did find a couple controls in here last night. I didn't play anything else, but found in the options I can turn on auto run and uh, let's see what else was it. Oh, I want to change this to windowless border, which isn't gonna affect you guys, but there we go. Okay, and it's got all the controls and stuff. But look, it's got like collections, so you can actually see what you need to do with that and check your social status. So there's people that I haven't met yet. And apparently what this is, is you can give two presents a week. Uh, I looked it up real quick. And here's the skill part I was talking about too. So you should get more like farming skill, mining skill, stuff like that too. Pretty cool. I'm considered a newcomer level right now. And then my inventory, let's set this up how I would have Minecraft more so, which is gonna be something more like this. There we go. Okay, and the gaff deals I will give as a gift to some people. I want to uh, place this back down because I didn't realize that was going to mess me up. Let's see what the weather is going to be like tomorrow. Let's see, it's going to rain all day tomorrow. Is that what it said? Rain all day. Well, I don't have to water on rain days, which is nice. Sure, knowledge in the future. Spirits are somehow lucky today. Luck will not be on your side. Okay. Oh, I do have new mail, okay. And look at that, see this stuff starting to sprout here? That's why I placed that all down last night. Just got back from a fishing trip, you should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you, Willie, okay. Definitely wanna to go to the beach. Let's water this stuff for us here. Okay, I do like that I can just kinda of click. I mean, you only get a, a one block radius from your character, but I like that I can click. I also like that um, I can walk on my plants and the original Harvest Moon 64 that I used to play so much, literally had like over a thousand hours into that, guys. Um, you had to go through and and you had to make like a, a three by three area only because you couldn't like get to certain things and stuff like that. So my goal on this one is going to be to um, not so much worry about money, get to the beach, visit the beach before five o'clock south of town yeah i want to try to get that done and meet more people so i'm not going to worry about foraging as much i mean if i see something along the way i'll get it and maybe tonight if i have time and energy left then i will go ahead and uh chop down some trees or something like that to clear out some more spot on the farm because so eventually i'm going to want to make like fence in crowd area for um oh i should have gone to the saloon last night that would have been good to meet a lot of people yeah i want to try to you know get a crowd for like you know animals stuff like that too who's this guy who are you Shane, what what do you want? Go away. Oh, okay, nice to meet you too. <laughs> what a jerk. Oh, see cows, yeah, I want to get cows and stuff like that. Cinderset Forest, Pelican Town, okay. What's below us? How do we get to the beach? Okay, I gotta go east and then south, my bad. Alright, let's go back. I know there's a house here and stuff, but I want to make sure I get there before 5 o'clock for that guy. So a lot of this game, I mean, it's not like a walking simulator by any means, in my opinion, but a lot of it is traveling back and forth, and unfortunately the time goes so quickly, like, if you see it here every maybe 5-10 seconds is 10 minutes in the game. It'll switch over to 8.30 here in just a second, and that part's annoying. Oh, okay, cool, I just had to go down here. Nice. Really? I could skip this. Let me know if you guys wanted to skip cutscenes and stuff like that. I'd, I'd rather not, because I've never seen the story, but just in case, right? Boy, there's some. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> ah, still trying to unwind from a month in the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Cool. Got it. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And here, maybe you'll buy, you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. There you go. Cool. So I'm guessing he's got like a fishing tackle shop type thing. Cool fishing rod. Bamboo pool, or pole, excuse me. There's good water here in the valley, all kinds of fish. Okay. So it's got to be part of the collectibles. You can sell them and stuff too. Give them as gifts. My shop's back open now, so come in if you need supplies. I'll buy anything you catch. There you go. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. Cool. So I'll have to try fishing real quick then, just so I can get that down. I'm glad we came down here though, that's nice. So let's see, fishing. Okay, uh, apparently we're supposed to hold that button a little bit. Let's try that again. There we go, max, max cast. Let's see what happens, maybe it bobs some. It goes down as this little sinker goes down. I don't want to sit here forever. Oh, there it goes, hit. Click the 
to raise the bar, release to lower the bar. Keep bar behind the fish. Oh, behind the fish, got it, okay. And my controller is plugged in and vibrating, so that's what that noise was there. There we go. It does have controller support. It's not very good <laughs> on my end. I didn't I didn't like it very much, so there we go. I caught a sardine. So can I just go in here and sell it to him, or do I have to go to that crate? That's what I'm curious about. I can buy a bamboo pole. That's what I have, right? Trout soup. Okay. Oh, and I just click it to sell it. And I got 40. Okay, so I guess you can sell instantly, maybe. You don't have to go to that crate. I think I could have sold them in the crate, though, back at my house. Let's try fishing one more time. I know it was a weak cast. Let's do it a little bit further. There we go. So the controller supports in the game, I, I personally don't like it very much, but it was nice to know I caught a fish, but I heard a ding anyway, so. There we go. Hit. So let's reel it. Oh, he got away. Okay. I don't think that's going to work that way. Let's try it one more time. <laughs> it's a little hard to do. I guess you got to click a lot, but keep the reel behind the fish, otherwise you'll break the line because you're clicking too hard. Got some seaweed. Okay, I can sell that. I'll get one more fish. Come on. I think I can search these crates and stuff too. I don't know what all they added. Oh, I did that too early. Oh boy, let's see. Well, guys, I hope you're liking the uh, the Let's Plays. It's definitely a little bit different. Um, something I haven't done for a long time. I, I do miss doing them. I, I always like playing these different games and stuff too. And I mean, honestly, a lot of times I do a review for a game and I play it a lot offline anyway. So I figured I should record it instead and just tell anyone in the house that, hey, Gonna be recording, leave me alone, that type of stuff. Okay, get that up there. Oh my god, how are you supposed to do that? Okay, I don't like that very much. That's a very hard mechanic, in my opinion. Nice beach, okay. Pick up this little shell, maybe. Yeah. A muscle, nice. That's someone's house. Pick up this thing here, and we'll see if we can find some more people to meet. Definitely want to try to meet everyone I can. I don't know what these little things do. That's a little shrine there, too. Huh. Okay. So, I gotta meet more people. So let's see who we can find in the town here. Definitely gonna try to hang out in town a little bit more. Um, oh, there's someone gardening right here. Maybe I can uh, see more people coming in and out. This is Lewis. How was your first night in the old cottage? Oh, this is the mayor. Rickety old bed, but I guess, okay. Well, that didn't help very much. I should look up like who all the women are that I can woo and make sure that I make friends with them first because I want to try to uh, eventually get married, obviously, but really, like, I mean, it's kind of important, right? <laughs> Alex, hey, hey, so you're the new guy, cool. See you around. All right, see you around too, kid. Here's the really grumpy guy, but I'll talk to him again because I'm sure it helps. It's like another gloomy day. If you think today is gloomy, you should see tomorrow. So that was Alex, the guy that was working out, I guess. Out, out here, I guess. Ooh! Oh, God! Two people! That was Mayor Lewis over there. Who's this? Pam. Hey, kid, the name's Pam. Wow, you got way too much eyeshadow, Pam. Don't be a jerk and we'll get along fine. Alright, well, you don't be a jerk to me, too, you jerk. Alright, so here's the JoJo Mart. So, from what I've understood, from just the little bits I've read, is that if you buy from them, it's cheaper quite a bit like sea parsnips are only 25 here potatoes are 62 and I want to say they were 80 or 70 uh, back there but you're supplying the man and you don't want to do that you don't want to do that and this is a membership card I believe I think it's what I read I don't believe we met I'm more Jojo customer satisfaction representative when you decide you want to become a Jojo member I'll be delighted to help make your experience a joyous experience so yeah I think the whole idea here You'll be able to make improvements on the community with the help of our dedicated personnel for a fee, of course. Oh, and another thing, Mayor Lewis promised us that if anyone else joined up, he'd let us turn that old community center into a JoJo warehouse. Isn't that wonderful? Membership costs 5,000 gold. Yeah, so I don't know exactly what that does, but I believe it has to do with, like, basically, you, um, you're you choosing the route of, like, no, I'm going to support the JoJo Corporation instead of the townspeople, and then they convert that town center. So that's kind of weird. That town center we were talking about before... Um, I think you can fix it up or something like that if you do it yourself uh, versus supporting the townspeople so all right like supporting them and fixing it up versus uh, supporting the corporation so ooh, is this Maru 
Oh, this is Abigail. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving in for that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I've always enjoyed exploring the overground fields by myself. Well, you can't explore them anymore. Help wanted. Demetrius would like to hire someone to fetch a largemouth bass. You'll be paid for your time. 300 gold upon delivery. Sweet. So if I get a largemouth bass, I can send it to Demetrius. That's a scientist dude that's up there. Oh, look at all these people. Okay. Can I go in there? I do all my grocery shopping here. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> yeah, potato seeds are actually cheaper here, so... Maybe we'll get a couple more. Um, two more? Three more? How long do they take? Six days? Maybe three, I guess. I, apparently. That's what I'm doing. Alright, look, there's a lot of girls over here, so let's go see. This is like a community rec room, maybe, or something? Who's this? This is Jody. Oh, breathe in, breathe out. Okay, I think I met Jody once. Who's this green-haired girl? Caroline, don't look, I'm all red and sweaty. Okay. Emily, exercising can be fun. Marnie smiles at you through a mist of sweat. She can't talk right now, apparently. Robin, my arms are strong and pant, but my legs need work. Alright, let's check who we got left socialized. Not that one. Social. Alrighty, so we met all those chicks. I wish it would tell you if they were single or something, too. One, two, three, four. Oh man, there's a lot of people left. I guess I can hit F, right? I got two days to bring a bass in, by the way. Nine more people somewhere out there. What is this? Church? Altar of Yoba. I guess they keep it neutral by saying Yoba. <laughs> man, this game's cool. I'm uh, I'm really excited for it. Like I was saying, I mean, this game's been in development for like four years now. This is 2000, right? Yeah, that's the next thing I need to buy. I'm gonna save up for that with all these potatoes. But yeah, it's four years in development. It's all made by one guy, and that's just insane to me. I mean, I can't believe that one guy did all the pixel art, did all the coding, everything. It was supposed to have co-op, and apparently that didn't happen. So a lot of people were upset with that. But I think it had to do with, like, uh, what you'll have. Nothing? Oh, this stuff will gauge for you more energy. That's nice. That's good to know. So you can't raise your energy. Load game thing. Oh, cool. I can change the song. Yeah, so apparently co-op got cut, which kind of sucks. That wasn't supposed to happen, so... There's Gus. Okay. Um, I don't know if they're going to add co-op later or not, because it would be pretty neat. If they did that again, they'd be able to get a lot more done. Oh, an arcade! In Joja Cola, of course. Anything back here? Just lots of storage. Okay. Alright, well, my energy's pretty low. It's 3 in the afternoon. I want to be able to go to the the tavern at night, but I don't know what time they, they open. What do they say? Mayor, River Road, Trailer, Saloon is 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. So it's gotta be a late night thing. Let's go there at like maybe 8 or 9. Maybe there'll be some more people there. Have we been in these houses already? This was Graveyard, Willow Lane, Sewer, Emily and Haley, Kent and Sam over there. I don't think I've met everyone. Oh, I did not mean to cast a line. Okay, well, no one's here that I can see. Cool, I guess. And I should be able to fish in, like, any water, too, so I think I can fish here, too. And I gotta catch a largemouth bass, so we'll see what happens. We'll try this fishing thing out one more time. Got a can, nice. A Joja can at that. Well, now my inventory's gonna be full, so... Don't have a backpack. Guess we could sell some stuff. It's locked, okay. Let's head back to the farm real quick then. <laughs> I bet we can head back, see if we need anyone along the way. We'll drop off some uh, some stuff at the same time. Let's see, this is my farm. Marnie's Ranch is down south there. So we'll head down the southern way back to the house. See if we need anyone along the way. Stop at this house here. And then we'll um, we'll go to the tavern tonight and see if we can uh, if we can meet any people there too. It's locked. Only Leah's friends can enter uninvited, okay? Well, I guess I should have gave some flowers to those chicks that were in the uh, workout area. And forgive me, people, if you get offended by me saying chick instead. Um, it's a habit. <laughs> I used to live in California. I don't know if that means anything, but people say chick there often. Boy, well, I think these episodes are going to be about 20 minutes long. It seems like a full day takes about 20 minutes, roughly, so. No one else to meet along here. I wonder if there's anyone at my house. Oh, boy, do I have to cut my way back? That's not good. Uh, oh, sorry. There, okay. And we gotta get the pick. The pick, okay. I don't have any room for that stuff. Inventory's full. Oh man, okay. 
Well, we're gonna have to come back and get this stuff for sure. Uh, Sai, Sai. So we have our own little fishing hole too. So we'll go back and get that stuff down there. Because I want to sell it all. I don't know if that's being greedy or not, but definitely want to make sure I can sell it. We want to plant these potato seeds. I forgot we got these two. That's one, two, and three. I really should try to make this even. That's going to bug me. But I'll have to get a couple more potato seeds then. Those are going to take a few days. We'll sell all this stuff now. Can we sell a cola can? <laughs> okay, let's go back and we'll get the rest of the stuff down here that I just cleared out. Uh, which way did I come from? Over here. We'll head to the tavern because it's already 6.30. It takes a little while to go back as it is. So he's carrying the stuff above his head. I believe he can um, he can actually like set that stuff down. Like if I wanted to replant this weed or something like that or the fiber. But uh, it said that it's a crafting elements too. So I think that uh, there is some crafting involved. Um, if you check your escape menu, there's this crafting page and I can make like wooden paths, cobbles paths, gravel paths, stuff like that. I can make campfires with fiber, torches with sap. Um, I can make a chest to put stuff in. That would probably be good gates and wooden fences and stuff like that so I, there is like you know the need for making corrals and stuff too but right now i just want to make money i guess <laughs> i feel like i can buy that stuff or i can always find wood later so speaking of making money i definitely want to work on that largemouth bass i'll probably go fishing early tomorrow see if i can find that and we'll just for now i guess see who we can find in the uh in the town like tavern thing over here here it is, start out. Star dropped saloon, okay. The lights are on in town, so hopefully hopefully it's late enough that people are showing up. Yep, looks like it. Come in, come in. Okay, who's this? I've never seen her. Oh, yes I have. Okay, she's drunk, got it. Gus is drunk, I think I've met Marnay or whatever her name is. I met this guy, right? And I can't even talk to him, okay. Interesting. I don't know if they're going to fix that. I'll check that back storage cellar area again in a second if I need to. Well, I'm going to give the chick the flowers. Emily, I work part-time at Gus's Saloon and I pay the bills. Oh, it pays the bills. Okay. Alright, please relax and enjoy yourself. Alright, there's another person coming, so... Thank you, I'm feeling positive energy from this gift. <laughs> I'm glad you feel positive energy. That's great. Who's this guy? I don't think I've met Mayor Magoo over here. Who are these guys? Looks like a blacksmith. It's got like a blacksmith apron. Clint, yep. Okay. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need an upgrade for your tools, I'm the guy. So, there, okay, there is an upgrade system you can do there, too. I wonder if more people are coming. What time is it? It's 8.30 at night. It's not too late yet, but... No one's in the cemetery, right? No, no one's visiting some old relatives or anything. Got 108 energy. We went into that house already. That was that old guy's house. Eventually I'll learn all these names and everything too. Food and spirits. Well, let's check this one more time. Nothing else in here. I wanted to give the other flower away just to get it out of my inventory to be honest, but I don't know. I should have gave it to one of those girls that were working out probably. It's locked. Open till 3. It's probably locked too. We'll check this house out then. See if there's anyone in here. It's locked 8 to 8. Check out the trailer then I guess. I haven't been here yet. Locked open 9 to 8, okay. Looks like most people go to bed around 8. Probably means I should head back. It's 9.30 at night. Getting close to the end of the episode here anyway. Check one more time, no one else in here. Welcome, I'm leaving. <laughs> I was just seeing if anyone walked in when I wasn't looking. Alright, the quickest way is to go out the left side of town, up north up here. So, I kept on going down the southern way, or like the very up path type thing. I think that was uh, taking a little bit longer. Well, guys, let me know what you think about the series so far. I know right now there's not a whole lot going on, but um, honestly, uh, the game picks up quite a bit. I'm going to record maybe five episodes, and that'll give me plenty of time to let me get some feedback from you guys on what you think of everything. Let's see, it's 10.30. Let's go ahead and at least chop this stuff down. We'll get this stuff out of here. It's got to be done. Got to be done, I say. We'll probably clear up this stuff next. 10.40, we got some time. What is this? Okay. Axe. We'll chop this stuff real quick. Okay. Get that stuff done. Get that stuff. And we'll get the axe right here. It's 11 at night. We should probably go to bed soon. Alright, let's
let's get out of here. Let's put this stuff down. Ooh, mixed seeds. I gotta plant those now. <laughs> Definitely wanna make sure I plant them at night because otherwise you kinda lose that like that day you could have got ahead basically. If that makes sense. There we go. And it's eleven thirty. So guys, that's gonna be the end of the episode here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick right back up after this. Save everything right now when we go to bed. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode, though. Again, let me know what you're thinking of the series. Definitely want the feedback here. Um, I'm going to play this game regardless, but I'd rather play it for you guys, give some more content, get closer to that daily upload schedule I used to do back in the day. And uh, as we come up on 1,000 subscribers here, I mean, I definitely want to try to bring as much as I can for you guys. So thanks again for watching. Make sure you check out my other videos as well, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.